Good morning to all. Welcome you all in the ISFCP dialogue series organized under the aegis of Internal Quality Assurance. Today, our guest and speaker, Dr. Sant Kumar Verma, Associate Professor, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry and Analysis. And the title of his talk is Naming of Acids and Their Songs. We welcome Dr. Sant. Please proceed. Thank you, Dr. Mahaji, for inviting me on the platform of ISF College of Pharmacy for deliver a lecture on ISFCP dialogue series. So today I will talk about the naming of acids and their salts. Firstly, I would like to define the acids. Acids can be defined in three ways. First theory is Arrhenius theory. According to Arrhenius theory, an acid is a substance that dissociates in the aqueous medium to form hydrogen ions. For example, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, sulfurous acid, perchloric acid, phosphorus acid, carbonic acid. So here are number of acids. The problem is that how you are going to write the name of these acids. So I will describe in the later section how you will write the name of these acids. So second definition of acid according to Bronsted Leary theory, an acid is a substance that donates a proton that is H plus N and forms its conjugate base. For example, perchloric acid which can donate a proton and form a conjugate base per chlorate ion. Sulfuric acid, it can also donate a proton and form a conjugate base hydrogen sulfate ion. Nitric acid, it can donate a proton and form nitrate ion. So according to Bronsted and Lory, acid can form its conjugate base and base can form its conjugate acid. The conjugate acid base concept was given by Bronstein and Lory. The third concept was the Lewis concept to define the acid. According to Lewis, Lewis acid is a chemical species that has an empty orbital and is able to accept an electron. Like uh, in this diagram, A. A is the Lewis acid because it can accept a pair of electron from B. So A works as a Lewis acid and B work as a Lewis base and form a coordinate covalent bond that is a adduct A and B. So there are number of examples of Lewis acid and Lewis base which can't be defined with the Arrhenius theory as well as Bronsted and Lory theory. The first one is H plus ion. It can accept a pair of electron cations like cupric ion, zinc ion, ferrous ion and ferric ion. Atoms or ions or molecule with an incomplete octet like boron trifluoride, aluminium fluoride. So in this example, boron trifluoride work as a Lewis acid because it can accept a pair of electron from ammonia, then form acid base adduct of boron trifluoride and ammonia. So next example of uh, Lewis acids are molecule which central atom has more than eight electrons like silicon tetrafluoride that is SiF4, silicon tetrachloride that is SiCl4. So SiCl4 will be having greater acidity comparison to SiCl4 because the electronegativity of fluorine is greater in comparison to chlorine. So it imparts more electronegative effect on silicon and hence silicon can accept a electron easily more comparison to chlorine. <laughs> Next example is molecules that have multiple bonds like CO2, SO2 and SO3. In this example, you can see that CO2 
in co2 the central atom of carbon can accept a pair of electron from hydroxide ion hence it will work as a lewis acid and form a oxide ion so what is the trick to remember what are acids so the general trick is donor a positive or the species which can lose a positive or acceptor of negative will be a acid like it you can implement it in arrhenius theory in arrhenius theory h plus is the positive then with the species which can generate the h plus ion in aqueous media will be the acid as per the arrhenius theory you can implement it on bronsted lorry theory that proton proton is a positive species so proton donor will be a acid you can implement it on lewis concept acceptor of negative in the lewis concept acceptor of lone pair lone pair is a negative the acceptor of negative will be an acid so this is the trick to remember the acid according to arrhenius theory bronsted lorry theory and lewis concept next you should know the acidic character in periodic table what are the acids in periodic table so in periodic table you can see if you move in a period from left to right then the acidic character is going to increase due to increase in electronegative of the electronegativity of the atom as well as decrease in size if you if we move in a group from upward to downward then acidic character will decrease because decrease in electronegativity of the atom so uh, as per our concern uh, we consider acids from the 13th group from the boron 14th group uh, that is known as fourth a carbon then silicon nitrogen phosphorus uh, sulfur then fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine so basically we uh, concern about the acids of these atoms in periodic table so how we are going to write the name of these acids and their salts so there are two ways first those acids those are not having oxygen atom in it to so trick to remember the acids which are not having oxygen atom in their structure the trick to remember the name of that acids and salt is the name ends with i d e that is ide for example the acids of third group that is bf3 boron trifluoride ends with i d e h2s it is having acidic character hydrogen sulfide these all acids are not having oxygen in their structure so their name ends with i d e h f hydrogen fluoride the aqueous solution of hydrogen fluoride is known as hydrofluoric acid so let's see their salts like salt of h2s hydrogen sulfide will be sodium sulfide ends with i d e salts of hydrogen fluoride will be sodium fluoride i consider here only the sodium salt you can also uh, consider it with the potassium or other salts also so naf will be the salt of hf the name will be sodium fluoride ends with i d e so you should remember the name of acids and salts those are not having oxygen in their chemical constitution the name of that acids and salts will ends with the i d e there are other examples are hydrogen chloride its aqueous solution will be hydrochloric acid so the name of its salts sodium salt nacl will be sodium chloride hbr that will be hydrogen bromide its aqueous solution will be hydrobromic acid 
and its salt is NaBr. The name will be sodium bromide, IDE. I am repeating again and again. The name ends with IDE. The other next example of acid is HI that is hydrogen iodide. Is its aqueous solution will be hydro iodic acid. Its salt is NaI that is sodium iodide. The name ends with IDE. So you have seen that the, the acids and their salts which are not having oxygen in their chemical structure, the name ends with IDE. The other category of acids, those are having oxygen atom. So the acids of fourth group is H2CO2, that is formic acid. So I will later describe the name and uh, uh, tricks to remember the name of these acids. F firstly, here we see the only structure formula of these acids. So H2CO3, the acid of fourth group, H2CO4. Next, fifth group acids are HNO2, HNO3, H3PO2, H3PO3. H3PO4. Sixth group acids are H2SO3, H2SO4. Seventh group acids are SClO, SClO2, SClO3, SClO4. So the problem is how you are going to write the name of these acids and their salts. I will describe in later slides. So firstly, first trick is uh, Trick to remember central atom oxidation number in acid. Firstly, you have to see the oxidation number of central atom in the acid. Like I have put four examples here of the seventh group acid like SClO, SClO2, SClO3 and SClO4. Then what will be the name of these acids? you are little bit confused then which name i have to put with sclo sclo2 sclo3 and sclo4 so firstly you have to see the oxidation number of central atom like in this case chlorine is having four oxidation numbers in scl4 it is plus one in scl2 2, it is plus 3. In SClO3, it is plus 5. In SClO4, it is plus 7. So if minimum, if oxidation state is minimum for the atom, for the central atom corresponding to the group in periodic table in which the central atom lies, like chlorine is in seventh group, so the minimum oxidation number of seventh group is plus one. Then the name of acid ends with hypoas acid. I am repeating the name of acid ends with hypoas acid. Then the name of HClO. The, it is having chlorine as central atom or the oxidation state of chlorine is minimum for seventh group that is plus one then the name ends with that acid hypoas acid so the name of sclo will be hypochlorous acid the second trick to remember if the central atom oxidation number is greater to minimum like in this case hclo2 it is having plus three oxidation state then the name ends with us acid the name ends i am repeating the name ends with us acid so the name of sclo2 will be chlorous acid chlorous acid next trick to remember if the central atom oxidation number is less to maximum in this case HClO3, the central atom oxidation state is plus 5. The name of acid ends with ic acid. I am repeating the name of 
that acid ends with ek acid like hclo3 the name will be chloric chloric end with ek acid next trick to remember if the central atom oxidation state is maximum like in case of hclo4 it is having plus 7 oxidation state then the name of acid will ends with per ek acid so the name of hclo4 will be per chloric acid i am repeating the name will be per ek acid the name of hclo4 will be per chloric acid other examples uh, we are coming to the acids of fourth group like h2co2 h2co3 and h2co4 so h2co2 is having oxidation state of carbon plus 2 then h2co3 is having plus 4 h2co4 is having plus 6 so the name ends with which is having minimum oxidation state that is as then ik then pari if exceptionally one atom is having lowest oxidation state like in hclo it is having plus 1 then the name ends with you can see as acid hypochlorous acid in this case sc h2co2 will be as acid the name will be carbonous acid so h2co2 is hcooh you can also call it as formic acid formic acid the second one is h2co3 the oxidation state of carbon that is central atom is plus 4 so you can write it ik acid then the name will be carbonic acid h2co4 the oxidation state of central atom is plus 6 this will be peric acid hence the name will be per carbonic acid so the name of sequence the sequencing of name will be hypoas as ik peric in this case in in case of carbon there is no hypoas acid so the name starts with the as acid ek acid and per ek acid in case of fifth group acid hno2 hno3 then phosphorus acid is there h3po2 h3po3 h3po4 in this case nitrogen is having plus 3 oxidation state in case of hno2 in case of hno3 it is having plus 5 if there are two oxidation state of central atom then you have to write only as and ik acid as for low ox oxidation state and ik for higher oxidation state like in hno2 and hno3 so hno2 will be lower oxidation state and hno3 is higher oxidation state then for lower oxidation state the name ends with as acid and for higher the name ends with the ik acid so the name of hno2 will be nitrous as acid nitrous acid hno3 the name will be nitric acid likewise in s3 po2 the oxidation state of phosphorus is plus 1 in s3 po2 plus 3 in s3 po3 plus 5 in s3 po4 so the name will be hypoas as and ik so accordingly the name of s3 po2 will be hypoas acid that is hypo phosphorus acid the name of s3 po3 will be as acid that is phosphorus acid the name of s3 po4 will be ik as it is having higher oxidation state of its periodic group then the name will be phosphoric acid now comes to the sixth group acid 
H2SO3, H2SO4. So you are having lots of confusion how you have to write the names of these acids. So firstly, you have to see the oxidation state of central atom. So in H2SO3, the oxidation state of sulfur is plus 4. In H2SO4, the oxidation state is plus 6. Then there will be only two categories. First one is for lower oxidation state, as acid. And second one will be for higher oxidation state, eic acid. The name of H2SO3 will be sulfurous acid. The name of H2SO4 will be sulfuric acid. So in note, you have to remember, if only two oxidation number of the central atom, then consider only as acid and eic acid, not hypos and not per eic. In case of uh, seventh group acid, you have already seen that the name of HClO will be hypoas acid. Then the name of HClO2 will be as acid. The name of HClO3 will be ac acid. The name of HClO4 will be per ac acid, per ic acid. Accordingly, the name of HClO is will be hypochlorous acid. SClO2 chlorous acid, SClO3 chloric acid, SClO4 perchloric acid, plus 1, plus 3, plus 5 and plus 4. All four oxidation states are available to from hypos to per ic. Next come to the naming of salts of these acids. So first we have to see the naming of salts. Those are having acid having oxygen in their structure so thus uh, i have considered only sodium salt of these acids like for example salt of fourth group acid na2co3 na2co4 one uh, is having h2co2 it is formic acid the, the salt will be hcoona that is sodium formate ic28 ic28 so the name of these salts, how you are going to write the name of these salts. So next, fifth group acid will be NaNO2, NaNO3, Na3PO2, Na3PO3, Na3PO4. These are salts of fifth group acid. Salts of sixth group acid, Na2SO3, Na2SO4. Salt of seventh group acid, NaClO, NaClO2, NaClO3 and NaClO4. How you are going to write the name of these salts? The trick to remember. First trick is if the name of acid ends with ic, so the salt name will be end with eight. Ic to eight. If the name of acid ends with us, the name of, of salt will end to it. Not ide. Ide are those salts which are not having oxygen in their chemical structure like sodium chloride, NaCl. So I'm going to repeat, repeat that eic acid's name salt will be 8. As acid, the name of salt will be ide, I-D-E, not ide. Acid name, if acid name is hypoas acid, the name of salt will be hypoaid. If name of acid is as acid, the name of salt will be ait. If the name of acid is ic acid, the name of salt will be eight. If the name of acid is per ic acid, the name of salt will be eight. In nut cell, you can see that ic will be eight. As will be it. For example, salts of fourth group acid like Na2CO3, Na2CO2. Na2CO3, the acid is H2CO3. Name is, <coughs> name will be, ic acid will be 8. That will be sodium carbonate. Ic acid will be 8. The name of salt will be sodium carbonate. It is H2CO3. That is carbonic acid. 
एक एसिड विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू एट आई एम रिपीटिंग देन द नेम विल बी सोडियम कार्बोनेट एन ए टू सीओ थ्री पर एक एसिड द नेम ऑफ एसिड वॉज एच टू सीओ फोर द नेम वॉज पर कार्बोनिक एसिड एट विल इक विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू एट तो द नेम ऑफ सॉल्ट विल बी सोडियम पर कार्बोनेट नेक्स्ट सॉल्ट ऑफ फिफ्थ ग्रुप एसिड दैट विल बी एन एन ओ टू एन ए एन ओ थ्री एन ए एन ओ टू एसिड इज एच एन ओ टू नाइट्रस एसिड आस विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू आईट नेम ऑफ सॉल्ट विल बी सोडियम नाइट्राइट एन एन ओ थ्री इक एसिड इक विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू एट द नेम विल बी सोडियम नाइट्रेट एन ए थ्री पी ओ टू द एसिड नेम इज एच थ्री पी ओ टू दैट इज हाइपो फॉस्फोरस एसिड एस विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू आइट हाइपो आइट तो द नेम ऑफ सॉल्ट विल बी सोडियम हाइपो फॉस्फाइट एन ए थ्री पी ओ थ्री द एस करेस्पॉन्डिंग एसिड वॉज एच थ्री पी ओ थ्री द नेम ऑफ एसिड वॉज फॉस्फोरस एसिड So then the salt will be end with it. The so salt name will be sodium phosphate. Na three PO four. The corresponding acid was H three PO four. That is phosphoric acid. It will be converted to eight into salt. Accordingly, the name will be sodium phosphate. So I think there is no confusion now. It and it. will be converted to 8 and us will be converted to it the name of sixth group acid that is na2so3 na2so4 the corresponding acid for na2so3 was h2so3 the name was the name was sulfurous acid us will be converted to it the so salt name will be sodium sulfite Na2SO4 that is the <coughs> sulfuric acid. The name of its salt that is Na2SO4 will be sodium sulfate. The the corresponding acid of Na2SO4 was H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid. It will be converted to eight. The name of salt will be sodium sulfate. The seventh group acid. that it, that that will be h clo the its acid will be naclo h clo2 its will be its salt will be naclo2 h clo3 its solvent salt will salt will be naclo3 h clo4 its solvent salt will be naclo4 then the name of hypochlorous acid when it will convert to salt it will be sodium hypochlorite i am talking about the sodium salt then the name will be sodium hypochlorite as acid will be it sodium chloride chlorous acid hclo2 when it will convert into naclo2 the name will be sodium chloride hclo3 when it will convert into naclo3 the name will be sodium chlorate hclo4 it is Per chloric acid, when it will be converted to salt, that is NaClO4, the name will be sodium per chlorate. Ik to eight as to eight. Thanks for patiently watching the video. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Doctor Sanz, for your valuable talk and. again thanks to all listeners thank you so much